YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Dieris here. Welcome to the channel. Man, you know what? Working from home definitely has its pros and cons. Like, you know, I get to work at home for my job every single day. That's great. I get to do all my chores, all the things I want to get done at the same time, you know, while I'm working. So that's like, that's always a plus. But the con of it for me is that I don't really get to talk to people, interact with them. I mean, I do via video chat, but in person, I, I kind of miss like talking to people in person. I, I am a people person, so I really do miss that. So I don't know, maybe the perfect job for me would be like going to office like once or twice out of the week. I think that'd be dope. But anyway, we're not here to talk about my job. We're here to talk about why the hell did I quit photography? But I did get my joy back into it. We are doing photography again. So we'll kind of talk about that, you know, the reasons why I quit and kind of like, you know, how that led me back into get my passion for photography again but before we get into that guys make sure to like this video here smash that like button it helps me out tremendously um it helps me into the youtube algorithm so i can slither on through to the top to the top and um you know make myself noticeable and have more people come and check out what we got going on over here it's a growing photography channel as always we're still growing always growing always learning and that's what we're doing here and also if this is your first time here then hit that subscribe button so that way you can get another video to come your way now without further ado one of the things i really do want to talk about is first why did i love photography in the first place you know photography for me um really was just a way for me to express myself in a way that i couldn't with words um and i think that applies to any artist out there and i think it's just a way for us to kind of like you know show people who we are you know our our inner selves you know like our soul or whatever, or whatever um within these things that we create and in my way to express myself is through the lens of a camera and that's something that always gravitated gravitated towards me uh ever since i was a little kid when i was a little kid i always had a camera in my hand um, mainly it was a, like a video camera because uh, I always, always like to document everything that happened in my household with my family. Uh, I just wanted to get behind the camera because my uncle, he, he had one. And I was like, yo, can I can I borrow that? And I would just literally like for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, you know, for all the freaking holidays, I'm literally running around in the house with the camera on um, because I just had that joy of kind of retaining like these moments in time forever or as long as possible um and actually too before that like i was i so i so before photography i actually went to film school um i wanted to be a cinematographer uh so like you know before then i brought me a can uh, a canon rebel t-series that was like my first dslr camera that i ever had and i was doing you know short films with my friends but also doing like uh like photo shoots uh, it really wasn't like modeling kind of like what i'm doing now it's more like just photo shoots of me and my friends just doing crazy crap um <clears throat> and, you know that was cool and all and then you know at the college i came back here um and try to get my name into like the film industry and just over time i realized this wasn't for me i, I didn't give up I, I know for a fact I didn't give up. I just realized this isn't for me. This isn't what I want to do and I don't want to continue doing that. So that's what I did. I stopped. Didn't touch a camera since. Um, and that, that was it. Um, and then years later, I did have the urge to get behind the camera lens. But I knew I didn't want to do filmmaking, so I was like, okay, what do I really want to do? Why do I have this certain urge to want to document things in the camera? And I was like, oh, photography, of course, photography, still images. This is something I feel like I can still do. It's, I still have this like cinematography mindset to produce images and capture moments. And that's what led me uh, to get into photography. And you know, <clears throat> ever since then, I, you know, I just, I just found a new passion. 
um, because that's what happens. Sometimes passions, you know, they come and go and sometimes they stick forever. Um, and that's how I kind of became a photographer. I uh, was just finding a new passion um, through the lens of a camera. And, you know, like photography, it just it just makes me feel alive. It, it, it was like it, it, it filled in a void that I had in my life at the time. Like I had a very empty void um, that was just kind of like eating away at me. And photography was like it was almost as, as if it was a puzzle piece. And that puzzle fit perfectly in that hole in my life. And like I feel like I was fulfilling something, you know. You know, besides all the shortcomings and, you know, trials and stuff that you have to go through to become a successful photographer, I was all in for it. Like, I knew this was meant to be for me. Um, whether it was going to be an ongoing hobby or a full time career, this was something that I knew for a fact I wanted to do. So <clears throat> when I, you know, when I was doing photography, um, I started off doing like street photography. Um, and then moving more into portraiture, uh, and I eventually left street photography. Um, I, I think I'm going to make a video on that in the future about street photography. I think street photography can help you to become a better photographer. Um, like in the long run, it helps you a lot to like be able to position, um, your angles and your shots and trying to tell a story. It helps you to bring that in to whatever other style of photography that you're trying to get into. So after street photography, um, I got more into editorial photography. Um, portraiture was kind of like where I really, 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 really want to dive deep into. Um, because like I was, I was always the person that wanted to tell the story. And I think editorial photography is that specific photography that fit that, that category that I want to be in. Um, and ever since then, I'm always trying to do like creative shots, um, try to play around with colors. And, you know, I, I like to I like to do a lot of uh, like um, wide shots. So, you know, I like headshots. I think I'm doing more headshots now, but I love to get the full image of a person or subjects in a background that kind of tells the story or it just has people scanning everything. And that's why I like shooting with a lot of wide angle lenses, like the 60 millimeter, uh, which is what I have on right now, filming this video and I have a 23 uh, millimeter lens. Um, and then I do have the 56 for my portrait work when I do want to do headshots or people do want to get like more portrait close ups. And, I, and, and, and I'm, I'm not saying I don't enjoy uh, close ups and headshots, but I really do like full body wide shots. And that's my style of work. You know, everyone has their own style. Um, you know, their own way of editing and color and stuff. And that's something I really, really loved about the photography community. Although it is very, very, very competitive. Uh, a lot of jealousy that goes on with the community. But at the end of the day, you still got to do what you got to do. And hopefully, you know, you will, you know, be noticed out of the pack of other people <laughs> doing the same thing, you know. So the main, main, main bulk of the video the main reason why you're probably here with the title. Why did I quit photography? Simple answer. I was burnt out and I lost passion for it. I really did. Um, I was doing a lot, especially with my YouTube as well. I was doing a lot. And I think the reason why I got burnt out was because I was doing a lot. But then I also felt like I wasn't receiving the amount of attention that I thought I should have or I wasn't receiving the amount of work or being noticed, you know, for like commercial projects or advertising or anything like that. Cause eventually that's, I mean, that, that is ultimately the goal is to, I do want to make money off my photography, but I also want to reach out to brands or work for modeling agencies. And it just wasn't falling there. And I guess I just kept going and going and going and going and going and keep going to the point where it's just like, I'm not receiving anything. I'm just giving. And that in itself burned me out. And from being that, from being burnt out, I lost that passion too. And I start putting, I, I started to try to find something to fill that, that void again, um, by doing other things, um, you know, like started streaming or, um, you know, working on getting into a new career and things like that. And, and I did put 
passion into those things and guess guess what those things have paid off i'm still streaming um i don't think streaming is going to be like my biggest thing i think photography still is always going to be that but it was cool it, it led me to that i don't I, I think if i you know if i didn't quit photography it wouldn't lead me to those other things and we'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video but you know um it, it just it just burns you out and then not to mention social media social media is like one of the most like creative killers out there social media can kill an artist because in this digital age as artists we have so much way so many ways to present our work to everybody for eyes to see from around the world to notice your work to notice who you are and social media is that number one big thing it is and it's not going to go away it's just going to continue to evolve and because of that you also got to involve with it or you're going to be left behind you don't want to be left behind but even still social media has brought a very negative com competitive force like never before seen and it really drains people and it always also discourages a lot of people especially when they first start off man when you start off that is the hardest like depressing place to be i know because i was there and i'm not that big but i am not there anymore like i, I I'm, I'm in an okay place where i'm at right now um i think i've been doing this for about three years now like on instagram and sharing my photos um although like i said i stopped so i kind of do got to start back all over again kind of sort of i still have the support there but just in general starting off with social media man it's just it's just it's draining and it's soul sucking and it's just it's just really hard and there's, there's a lot of people who just give up because the hurdle to get over that mountain is is so hard but when you do get over it you'll finally see that sunrise and you will finally be in a place where you 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 can be and because you're on that top of that mountain your view of seeing what's out there you're going to be seeing all these other mountains and other paths that you can take to take your career to because now you're you're here on the top and then you can take that to so many different places and avenues now because now you have that kind of support system you have that confidence now um, to get yourself there the problem is getting to the top of the mountain first some people make it some people don't some people get there fast and some people it takes forever but as long as you get there i think at the end of the day that matters but with that i want to talk about like social media being burnt out like you know i'm searching for likes you know looking for shares you know comments or or competing with with other photographers like oh i'm trying to do this instead of doing what i want to do instead of creating what i want to do you know you don't want social media to dictate the art that you want to create and that's the thing it it dictates a lot of people a lot of people i know change because of social media and i'm like that's not you i see you're growing i see your success i see you're going at a faster rate than i am because i'm trying to keep hold like to to or or keep keep close to me as possible as possible as i can and you're changing because of this machine i get it but i don't like it so at that point i'm just kind of like dang was social media even even worth it well fuck it you know i'm just done with photography i don't need to do none of this stuff here and like whatever no one's noticing because i'm trying to stay true to myself i'm done i'm done like that's that's like one of the other reasons so you know this this there's just a lot of reasons for that um so yeah social media is definitely a crime for that um and then another thing i did want to talk about was you know pursuing other hobbies it kind of it kind of led me to do other things i didn't think that i would ever want to do a twitch stream i never thought i would like to do that but then i'm like well i have those hobbies why not share that to other people and maybe make some passive income on the side why not so because I quit photography at that, at that time, that led me to Twitch and having a Twitch streaming setup now um, that also helps kind of like create this 
production here even for my youtube now now that i'm back on youtube you know so in a way like losing the passion for one thing and opening the doors for others kind of helped me uh get better on this restart of what i'm trying to do with youtube and my photography so you know we, we, we can talk about how sometimes quitting could be a good thing um so we'll see but you know with that with quitting and everything you know over time so it's been about a year i i stopped doing youtube i stopped doing photography not even just youtube photography like a year ago i had this big old shoot it was amazing i got on this magazine it was like one of my favorite shoots that i've done and um i was like man i'm on a roll and then for some reason after that shoot i was just like i was like i'm done i don't want to do this anymore but the way that i found my joy back the way that i regained my passion for photography was doing those other things was doing those other hobbies streaming on twitch getting back on camera getting back and talking to people uh doing other things getting my career into the place where i wanted to be at you know having a great day job like taking the time off to get my studies and practicing my craft so i can get that you know other dream job that i wanted you know um and it was you know without photography i had that time to do those other things and honestly i'm grateful for that and if i had to do it again i would because i think it helped me to broaden my horizons and make me such a better person and and it's making me a better artist um and know what, what i want for my life and what i want to show to you guys and and I think that's ultimately what kind of got me back. I was like, okay, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready for something. I was like, oh yeah, photography. I feel like I can get back into it. I feel like I have all these ideas of of shoots and and and, and new styles of work that I can do. Um, getting back on Instagram and looking at other people's work and, and feeling inspired, not jealous, but inspired of other work. I'm like, oh, I want to create something like this. Like, I love how this photo will make me feel. I want to feel that way when I look at my photos. I want you to feel that way when I show you my work, you know? So that's what kind of got me back. I was like, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back into it. And as soon as I, I was ready to get back into it, bam, I just jumped straight into it. Jumped straight into it. As if like, I never lost it before. So some of you might be coming to this video because you're either curious of what happened, why did I quit photography, or maybe you're on the verge of thinking about quitting photography, or maybe you already did quit photography and you just wanna see what another fellow artist uh, is talking about. And I kinda wanna tell you guys, like, you know, especially for those who are thinking about quitting photography, um, you know, what is the best option for you? Well, before, before I even say what the best option is for you, um, I do want you to know that quitting does not equal giving up. I think people have this, you know, this negative thing that, oh, quitting is like, oh, man, you just give up. You, you didn't do it. No, no. Sometimes you need to understand when is the best time to quit or keep going. You know, I think I think quitting is more kind of like, hey, I want to stop right here. I want to stop. I'm not putting a pause. I actually want to stop because I feel like I need to stop. I feel like I'm doing too much and my life is fighting against it. Um, you know, the energy around me is saying like this, this right now, this is not for you right now. This, you need to let this go. And because you're doing this for your best interest, that's not giving up. You know, so I think quitting is a good thing because of the reasons I said before you quit and then you open your door up for other passions. You never maybe never even thought of that you had, you know, other skills you might be really good into, you know, or, or you know, the skills that you did as a photographer, you can bring over to something else. Maybe movie making, directing, director of photography, but you're not doing photography anymore. You're doing something a little bit different, which is film. So it's like. We're always growing as people, and as as we grow, we're changing, we're adapting, we're evolving, and that happens with our careers, our relationships, our hobbies, our art. 
I mean, even our bodies, our bodies change. <laughs> like everything around us changed. There is nothing that is stagnant. If you are stagnant, you are not living. You're not. So it is okay to quit if you're feeling that that's what you need to do now. Maybe you'll quit forever. Maybe you'll quit for a time like I did and you'll come right back, but then you'll come back with a set of new skills, a set of new insight to bring back into your craft. So I think the best option for you is for you to decide that. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what you should do. I don't know you. You don't know me that well. You know, I'm not above you or anything like that. Like, don't take that advice from me just because I'm a guy on a camera on YouTube. I'm just giving you my thoughts. And then you take from that what you will. But you are the person that can decide that. That's the best option um, that I can give you guys. But, yeah, guys, um, I think that's it for the video. Uh, I'm trying to get myself back into kind of like this YouTube thing and knowing how to present myself, knowing how to speak and talk. So, you know, bear with me if this video or the previous videos or the upcoming videos aren't up to snuff, but that's okay because I'm trying to get back into it. And like I said, I, I'm trekking. I'm trekking on that <clears throat> that YouTube mountain to eventually get to the top. I'm not at the top yet, but we are we are we are walking up there. So I might be stumbled, trip over a rock like it's a horror movie and I can't get up. But eventually I will get up. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully like what I'm talking about and saying in this video was insightful to you guys and was entertaining. But uh, I want to continue to do more videos like this as well as my photo vlogs um, and things like that. So. So, yeah, with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe if this is your first time here. And also, guys, please, please, please comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Did you quit? Are you going to quit? Were you thinking about quitting? Or you just enjoyed what I said? Was there anything that I said that you felt like was wrong? I want to hear your thoughts, guys. Comment below, and I will definitely talk to you there. So with that, guys, I'm out, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.